Hey everybody, it's Miss Fame. I have been working on a little something something for ya in collaboration with Sleek Makeup. And I actually did the artwork myself. I'm so proud, look at her, look at her. I'm so excited to be partnering with Sleek Makeup. They encourage people to stand up and stand out and I'm all about that. Check the link below to find a location near you. Okay, so now I've started with a blank canvas. The brows are covered. I'm going to define my new eyelid and the length of my eye using Sleek Makeup Intense Waterline in the color Zodiac Black. It's a 12 hour, practically life proof eyeliner. It's smudge proof, it's smear proof, and it's the richest, deepest, beautiful black. And the texture of the eyeliner is very, very smooth. Wonderful to blend out as well. The scariest part of any eye, black eyeliner. Now, there's a product with Sleek called Eye Art Precision Liquid Eye Color. This specific color is called Neopop. It's a beautiful dimensional teal with light reflection in it. I'm just gonna lay a little bit of product on the back there. You can see straight away. The payoff is massive. And I'm using my natural eye socket as a point of reference to blend above and through so that when I open my eyes you can still see the color. I'm gonna go back to Zodiac Black and I'm gonna etch out a new cut crease. All right, so now that my eyes are in a nice structured shape. I'm going to be adding a bit of shadow to buff out the edges. This is Sleek Makeup's eyeshadow palette with a beautiful array of greens, blues, bronzes, violets, golds. Uh, primarily light reflective. I think we have a little bit more of a matte finish on the darkest one, which I'm going to utilize as well. We're gonna find a mid-tone shade. I'm gonna mix the two on the top here and here. There's a lot of reflection in this, which is beautiful on a brow bone across the lid. And to define the crease, I'm going to take the darkest shade in the lower corner and buff. It's nice to have one matte in this palette because it anchors down the light. So I'm also gonna take a lighter shade and I'm using the brightest gold. I might mix it with a tiny bit of this green over here to create cohesiveness. Actually, this and this are gonna be nice on the lid. I'm gonna start with the teal. And I'm gonna use the gold just at the inner eye. She's coming together. I've placed my face of tapes off camera and I prepped my skin a little bit, so I'm really going to focus on getting my foundation matched. I'm working with the Life Proof Foundation by Sleek. It's a long wear, medium to full coverage, sweat proof, oil proof foundation. It's really easy to blend with your hands. I use my hands sometimes, but I usually like to use a brush depending on if I'm going out as a guy or if I'm going out as a full on queen. First I need to color correct. I have a few little things like uh, a mustache and a beard that need to disappear. So first I'm going to cover up my color correction. I'm gonna take the foundation. We're gonna just continue to carry it through the all over skin. And it does have a lot of coverage. Now over my foundation, I'm going to be using Sleek Makeup's Cream Contour Kit and Light. It has six shades, so I'm going to be mixing these two underneath my eyes, probably a little bit more of the pinky tone, I really like that, and contouring with the deepest shade. And I like to just use my finger to start. I'm 
just going to take a stippling brush and the deepest shade from the light contour palette. I'm just going to create a bit of a halo around the perimeter of my hairline. Now I'm going to just set my all over foundation. So now that my face has been fully set, I'm going to be moving on to the face form. This is really interesting because it actually has your contour right inside, which is making it very easy for me. And an illuminating, nice peachy blush, which will go really great with this look. So back to my face forms and the shade light, I'm going to be using the illuminating blush to bring out the cheekbone. Now that I've got my blush all set and glowing and gorgeous, I'm going to be adding even more illumination to my cheeks using the beautiful Sleek Makeup Highlight Palette and Distorted Dreams. The cool thing is the shade range. There's some greens and some blues and some pinky iridescent. I'm first gonna use the cream that has a nice iridescent pink shade. So using the pink and the gold powder shades, I'm going to go highlighting the top of my cheekbones, layering it over the cream. Look at that glow. I'm just gonna actually go back to my face form palette and then gradiate that color with the blush. Beautiful. Really pretty when you layer the products together. We're gonna go back into my eye art, Neopop. We're gonna actually go directly underneath the eye. Shadow. I'm gonna tight line my eye. It's nice to use a product that goes straight on and just gets the job done. I mean, it took two seconds to do my waterline. I'm not tearing, my eyes aren't irritated. That's a good sign. I'm also gonna take a nice little flat angled brush and do some detail work with the eye. So I'm gonna get in here pretty tight. And I'm gonna take the darkest shade in that eyeshadow palette that I used earlier. I'm just gonna go right into the lashes. And a liquid coat of sleek Dip It eyeliner in black. Okay, so let's take a break from the eyes to get focused on the lip. And I'm just going to use it to define and really bring more dimension to my lip. I have a good lip shape, but I want to add more volume to the top. You could take a mix of the two cream highlights here, the one in the middle and the one over here. So something with a blue and a pink base, you're gonna apply it just like that. You have a very hydrated lip with a beautiful iridescent finish. So now I'm using Sleek Cosmetics Lip Shot 
It's a very bright, glossy impact shade. It's called Do What I Want, which is life imitating art. Another fun trick that I want to show you is taking your Distorted Dreams palette, the center creamy shade. I'm just going to go directly over the eyelid. It's going to create a naturally glossy finish and completely alter the perception of what you once saw with the shade. Beautiful. And with having the eyeshadow base down first, it really supports this highlight shade and makes it very galactic. Apply an eyelash, make it a little bit more dramatic. We've gotten to a really good place in the makeup. I'm really feeling my fantasy. The sleek look is absolutely stunning and I'm so glad that I was able to share every intricate piece with you.